Developers from across the country got a private tour of Kemper Arena. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall was there with a timeline of what the city plans to do with all that space. Representatives from about four or five different companies went inside Kemper Arena this morning with the city to look at it and figure out how they can redevelop it and make it brand new once again. Now, it all started early this morning, and not everybody who is here will submit a proposal to the city. The deadline is not until August 21st. During the fall, the city will consider all of the proposals that they've been given and hopefully start negotiations around November. The idea is that this will be the linchpin that jumpstarts the revitalization of the West Bottoms. And the history of Kemper Arena is something that some people say should be taken into account. I think it's terribly important to con consider all of that. And, you know, it is a landmark. Architecturally, it is a landmark building. And um, we have, you know, I have great hopes that it can be a viable part of Kansas City's future. No matter who gets Kemper Arena, they won't get their hands on it until April of next year. That's because of a bond issue. And they're still really just looking at the property. The city has no plans to tell us who's involved in that process and who's interested because they want to protect the integrity of it moving forward. So there's no outside pressure when it comes time to make a decision. Reporting in Kansas City, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.